Hello, here is how to deliver a meaningful demonstration of the Fortisassi MSSP portal to a customer. The MSSP portal within Fortisassi offers centralized management and configuration capabilities, enabling managed security service providers the ability to efficiently deploy and manage SASE services across their client base. Here are some sample questions to help jumpstart conversations with potential customers. How do you manage multiple end customers that subscribe to your managed service offerings? Describe your technical staff and their general permission needs to handle managed services. Let's log into the Fortisassi portal and begin. Once logged into the MSSP portal, partner technical personnel can monitor all tenant data, including number of users, license expiration dates, as well as the distribution of security points of presence used per instance. There are two ways to select a managed Fortisassi instance. First, right click the instance and press the Manage button within the Active Licenses window, or two, from within the Fortisassi instance, select the organization or the sub-organization from the Context Switch drop-down account menu in the upper right-hand corner. Regardless of the method, once Fortisassi instance is selected, the primary dashboard will now be displayed. FortiCloud is an easy-to-use portal to register, organize, and view all Fortinet products and services. New products, licenses, or contracts can be registered and managed with the Asset Management Portal. Let's walk through the initial setup. A new FortiCloud account must be registered at https support.fortinet.com as a new MSSC partner of Fortinet. An email that includes a CAPTCHA verification code is sent to the inputted email address. Enter a secure password in the password and confirm password fields. After reading through the terms and conditions, select I have read, understood, and accepted the contract stated above. A confirmation message is displayed. The first step for creating an organization requires the root account user to create the organization and define the organization hierarchy. As a managed security service partner, define service permissions for each technical role based on job duties. Permission control is global to the Fortisassi portal. At this time, role-based actions include either read-write, read-only, or no access per category within a service option. It is optional to define the service permissions for groups of individuals based on job duties. User groups save time assigning assets and portal permissions to users. Use a group to create a set of conditions and then assign users to the group. A user can only belong to one group at a time. Lastly, create individual technical accounts based on the company hierarchy and assign role or group permissions. IAM users are separate additional users to the FortiCloud account. Even if an IAM user and the FortiCloud account use the same login credentials, they are independent of each other. It is recommended that MSSP administrators generate a password reset link and share it with the selected IIM user.
The MSSP needs to create a sub-organization for the end customer in their organizational hierarchy. Use the organization dashboard to monitor the number of accounts and organizational units. The dashboard displays information around accounts that recently joined the organization, the total number of accounts and organizations, as well as the organizations that were updated, moved, renamed, etc. Invitation tokens are a secure method of inviting end customers to join the MSSP organization. At this point, you would provision and apply the necessary FortiSASE SKUs. Optionally, as a managed security service partner, define service permissions for each technical role for the end customer based on their job duties. At this point, the end customer FortiCare account needs to be joined to the MSSP organization's hierarchy. The MSSP admin responds to the invitation request by approving it. For customer one, their FortiCare account has now been accepted and has joined the organization for this MSSP. I am sure you will agree that this solution can enable several business outcomes. One, simple cloud-based management provides management security service providers centralized visibility and access control across all distributed users and applications in a multi-tenant environment. Two, Role-based access control will improve operational efficiencies for technical staff. Thank you for your time.